Hello everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV's coverage of CES 2015. This morning I was very fortunate to be given exclusive access to the Samsung booth before the rest of the convention opened. So we were given a great tour and got to do a lot of neat stuff. The first of which was to check out their curved S-series UHD televisions. Now these are curved because the natural curve of your eyes creates a curve to everything we perceive. So they brought the corners of the televisions in so that you see things in a more rich depth and also more natural feel to it. This basically enhances your viewer experience as well as relaxes your eyes a bit more while you're watching. Now the technology is based on a nano crystal technology and they have a few different ways of projecting the images that give you uh, different refresh rates up to I think they said 960 which is very interesting but it is a proprietary Samsung technology so it isn't based specifically on Hertz rates. Um, the curved televisions themselves come in sizes ranging all the way up to over 100 inches, and that's in now the long format views. So over here in the monitor section of the booth, I've got my friend Mike behind me playing Terra Fate of Arun. I'm not sure what the specs are of the system he's playing it on, before you guys ask, but the focus here is these curved monitors. Now they've started producing these with a visa mount on the back so that you can set them up into multiple configurations. Uh, there's a few around the booth in uh, five monitor configuration and this here is obviously a three monitor display that you can see. But from the footage you're taking a look at, you can see how immersive having those curved screens around you are versus having a similar setup with flat panel monitors. This really allows you to have the game fully in your peripheral vision so you can make the most out of your video graphics cards and your rendering as well as your gaming experience. Let's check out the new storage solutions that uh, Samsung has been working on. They have a new 850 EVO M.2 drive now, this is up to one terabyte, but what's exciting about this is, of course, it is compatible with your Z97 motherboards, as well as some of the new gaming notebooks and more and more regular notebooks uh, coming along will allow you to upgrade to this very, very easily. Also, they have, of course, the 850 EVO and the 850 EVO Pro, which you are probably familiar with. In addition to the new 850 EVO M SATA, again, this is for uh, mobile storage, so you can use it in your gaming notebooks, regular notebooks, also compatible with uh, some motherboards. So this is very, very tiny storage and very, very fast tiny storage. Um, again, this is up to one terabyte, but they do have them in other sizes, including 120, 250, 500 gigabyte. Now some portable storage I'm super excited about is the new Samsung SSD T1. This tiny little thing is about the size of a pack of gum, but weighs about as much as a stick of gum. I was a little thrown when they first handed it to me and I almost uh, actually dropped it because it is so lightweight. It just is nothing in your hands. Some special things about this. Now you have up to 450 megabits per second transfer rate for an external hard drive. That is huge compared to what we've been used to for quite a number of years now with external storage. Nothing is this fast. Also, you've got it in 250, 500 gigabyte, and one terabyte drives. Additionally, this comes with its own encryption software, which is installed on the drive itself, so you don't have to have it installed on the computer that you're transferring information to. Use case scenario here. You have some film files or photography files or digital animation, something proprietary to you that you don't want stolen. You can encrypt it on this drive with a personal password, send it to the person that you need to show it to, and then give them a call on the phone, let them know what the password is. That way they can unencrypt the files or find some other really crazy creative way to give them the password. I don't know, it's up to you. But at any rate, this is very, very secure external storage. You don't have to worry about this slipping out of your backpack or pocket or laptop bag and someone getting their hands on your protected files. This would also be very good backup for sensitive document scans. Because it is encrypted, so long as you remember the password or don't lose it, this would be a very good way to do that type of backup. Plus any other use case scenario you can come up with for portable storage. It can fit right in your pocket, 
carry it with you anywhere. This makes bringing a lot of data with you that you need to transfer quickly, quick, easy, and efficient, and I love that. So we've decided to wrap up our Samsung booth experience with the Gear VR uh, virtual reality goggles. You may have seen these about, you know, they announced them and they've been for sale for a little while now, but I hadn't gotten to try them myself. Now I have been able to use the Oculus Rift goggles as well as the Sony Morpheus at past conventions. And I have to say that these are very, very light and very comfortable. Also, because of their integration with a Galaxy uh, Note 4 phone, it makes them very accessible for what they are. I got to play a little game, which was a kind of a puzzler where I got to walk around his little girl and tried to move things and basically uh, it used my line of sight to dictate the movement of my character. Now I did experience some nausea with these that I have not experienced in the past but it could just be because my goggles had not been focused properly. Uh, also because of the type of movement of the game. I hadn't quite experienced anything like that before. In my previous experiences, I was playing as a, a first person character or I was playing a platformer where I controlled the walking speed of the character. Whereas this game, my eye movements controlled the walking speed of the character. So basically look, click, and you're there. And so that kind of quick movement uh, threw me a little bit. But overall, I would say that these are very, very user-friendly and accessible. They have a lot of content coming out, new content all the time, and even an augmented reality uh, experience that integrates with this that they're adding new content to all the time. So very excited to see where this goes in the coming months, and I'm really glad that Samsung has gotten this onto market.